Hello everyone, welcome back to my uh, Unreal Engine third person shooter series. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to make that uh, AI character who's sitting over there, uh, that AI character uh, keep looking at us when they see us. So here is the demonstration. So when he saw us, he keeps rotating to us like that. So he pull up his gun and so once we are out of his range, his visibility range, he uh, unequip the gun and go to relax mode. Once he start to see us like this, he pull the gun and then he keep looking at us like that. So that's the part I'm going to do today and so basically you know, I have set up a vision a sight AI, AI perception system for this character we did, it, we did that in the last episode and then after that uh, I have implemented a way to identify the opponent and the rotation that this character should have in order to keep looking at that opponent so that's the basic uh, way that's basically what I'm going to do here so in the current system uh, when my player character go in front of the enemy characters they just uh, keep the start to aim but they don't really look at me so they just uh, move the weapon up and they stays like that so now let's see how to rotate them and how to make them look at us so that's the part I want to do today okay so first let me open the AI controller and basically uh, what I do is aim down and yeah that's it toggle aiming let me delete this part so yeah first uh, when I start aiming down Mm. Yeah, when I in the aim down mode, uh, I'm in the animation blueprint. This is how I keep looking, and this is how I change my aim in rotation. So maybe instead of getting the control rotation, if I set up another function to get the target uh, rotation then I think I should be able to uh, implement use the same function for the AI characters as well so all right let's do it like this in the in the PPI character interface let me open that it is here let's add a function to get target rotation no uh, let's call it get aim rotation and we need to return rotation should be a rotator I'll call it rotation and compile so now for the player yeah for the player it should return the control rotation so in the player no, first in the soldier get 
target rotation so for the soldier I'll just return the get character rotation sorry get actor rotation I'll return that oh sorry no that's not what I should return uh, well so let's uh, define let's add another variable in the type of actor so this should be I'll name it as opponent let's call it target oh no let's call it uh, yeah just opponent would be enough enough We need double P, right? So it should be in the type of actor. And if the opponent is valid, let me keep this part as a get target not location it should be rotation get aim in rotation yeah let me delete this get actor rotation this is one and the other thing is get the opponent get look look at rotation find look at rotation and the starting point is get actor location and the ending point is get the location of opponent So we should return this if we have a valid opponent. Let's do it like this. If the opponent is valid, I'll return this. Otherwise, I'll return. The current actor rotation and then I'm going to override this function for the player get okay, aim in rotation so here instead of what I have in the parent function I'm gonna get control rotation and return that we don't need this part then in the VPS soldier let's use uh, get a main rotation And I'll break it here right so now we need to connect this one instead of this this is not used this is yo and this is pitch and this is also pitch this is not used so let me delete that 
this is also not used so this one should be pitch and this one also should be pitch is that all yeah now let's see if my player saving working properly if that is working then we can look into the AI saving right so player saving working without an issue okay so now in the AI soldier so I have this aim down event and also I'll add another function to the BPI character no maybe yeah set opponent and we need to give an actor as the opponent actor object reference so let's use that here if the actor is valid now if it is successfully sensed yeah if it is successfully sensed mm, yeah I need a branch here set opponent with this one the current actor seen by the AI character otherwise set opponent with an empty reference so like this now in the CH soldier I'll implement that function maybe in shooting part set opponent okay now shall we see what happens now let me delete one of these characters because uh, this guy would see that character as well and I haven't implemented a way to distinguish the player character and other characters right so he's looking at us see now he looked at the other way and he turned to us okay so it doesn't really look like it has some kind of a offset but we can work with that and we have a bug as well but okay and yeah this is what I want to do for this episode so I'll stop this episode at this point uh, so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club link would be in the description below and 
so here you can access the project files and also other things that I share exclusively exclusively for, for patrons and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye